Hello everybody, I'm just recording a quick video to give you an idea what it's like studying at computer science both in person on the campus and when you're meeting us and when you're doing it remotely through our virtual learning environments and our tools. So I've got on my screen now Discord, which we use uh, for talking and contacting students and, and many of you are already involved in that at the moment so it's something that can replace coming to somebody's office and talking to them and have various chats and some people are doing that and you can talk to various staff members there and other students as well we have got various chat boards so at the moment as an applicant you only see the applicant section but there's a whole load of sections to it some general chat and there's some things for each level of the course. So if you're joining as a foundation student, there are some things specifically for the foundation modules. And if you're joining as a certificate stage student, there are sections for all the different modules there. And some students you can see are having a various chat uh, about things to do with the course there. So, much like you're seeing, but um, we also can use it for various things like presentations and face-to-face -face things. So we actually have some demo rooms where we can have video and a talk like we're in a meeting room and have chats to students. So that's a quick thing about that. I can't do it at the moment because there's nobody to chat to. But if I've so some other things um, that we can do, I can show you a little bit what Canvas looks like. So our virtual learning environment is Canvas um, and that's a tool with all our teaching material so we have some stuff with teaching material this is one of my courses and the students can download the slides and uh, laboratory material and I've done this for a few years so it doesn't actually matter whether you're coming to the classroom and do it or want to do it at home. Um, so the move to online working actually didn't make a lot of difference for some of the students on my course because they were doing that anyway. And I've got some YouTube videos I've recorded to show students how to do various things and sets of frequently asked questions showing how to do the different activities on the course and there are sort of lab sheets that tell instructions how to do various things in the lab and then when you finish the lab you can submit work uh, from the lab in the box. Whether you're in the lab or at work I've provided little programs. A student could run a little test on their work that they've done and the and this is on the home machine and so you get access to files at the university from your home machine. So I've mounted drives from the university containing stu the student material and my directory uh, where my files are at the university and here are the files that the students can get hold of to do with my course. So from home you can get full access to the all the university things and the students can then run this little test program they don't need me there and it starts to check their work and kind of does some marking proves it's live <coughs> it says it couldn't find the program so first of all it checks that it can talk to the university server and then it executes the program, the client program that the student wrote and checks that the client program is working and now we're getting some test results back OK and then the student could submit the work and say yeah that's all OK. So that gives you a, a brief snapshot of what it's like. You can just get on with your work, you can do the learning, you can write your programs, you can find the results, you can submit them for marking and interact with your lecturers um, but we might say well what's it like in the classroom so some pictures of some of my classrooms and actually there there's plenty of space for 
social distancing um, if you wanted to. That actually is one of my classes here. Um, and I think that's students do my networking class probably. So hi to them. And um, we could go, well, what's it like, you know, the other way around when I'm teaching? So here's me teaching. Magically get recorded against the four o'clock lecture. You can then keep your attendance recorded even though the system is wrong. So, just a brief snapshot of being in the lecture theatre, not being in the lecture theatre. Um, you've got all the material. All of that material I taught would be recorded. Students can access it by just clicking on the recording of the lecture and there's all the recordings of all the lectures that students can watch whether they were in the room or at home. So as you can see we've got a complete packet um, um, that we can teach you and the transition from working remotely to working the lecture on, in person and actually having being on campus hopefully it should be very seamless. Well it will be very seamless because I've already done it on my courses for quite a few years. So I hope you found that useful and thanks very much for watching.